Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of City Skylines. Circle C, roundabout now. And boy, do we have roundabouts. Quite a few of them. At any rate, we're now trying to basically grow a bit slowly. Since the game likes to blow everything up if I move too quickly. Let's see, was this part of the next district? It was. Okay, in that case, we're just gonna have lots and lots of homes. As long as we forgot, uh, forgot, as long as we remembered the water pipes, which we didn't, of course. Water pipes! Yeah, I'm gonna be a, do a bit more careful building together with you now. But uh, before the next episode, I do think I'm gonna do another time skip and basically. Well, I don't know if I wanna grid out everything, and that's gonna be a. Death wave identifier. Um, death wave prerogative. Uh, do, 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 we we're gonna build something like this. Yes, I do think we want to get this one into the ground again. But how? Now we're reaching up into the mountains here. I still haven't made uh, a tram road that goes in this direction. Let me just show you what I mean. I mean, we have one crossing here, but we desperately need one more up here before the mountain chain. Um, that's probably next. That's gonna be a bit of a cramped area, isn't it? Because terrain is now becoming rather steep. So roundabouts isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> I mean, I imagine we'll have some roads tapering off here and then a massive amount of switchbacks in some kind of layer. I don't know. Mountains and roundabouts do not mix. Heck, even just a little slope doesn't mix. You do not want to know how much flattening I had to do just to get this pattern up. This is the classics. The city's number one source. For music but yeah, we want to connect that city train itself. stop there to the train stop inside the downtown area. If I can find it again. Oh uh, boy. Let's see now. Train, train, train. Where are you? That is this stop right there. Let's pick roads. Where are you? There you are. You. I'm gonna connect you all the way here somewhere. I do want you to be straight for a bit because I might connect this to multiple stations. And that means I kind of need some road to work with later when I, once we start making proper connections. Right, now for the problem with the river. Um, the river is fairly high here. Or fairly shallow, rather. Of course I've lost track of the darn... darn bits. There you are. Okay, so I want you... to have a nice little curvy-vervy. Cannot build on water too steep a slope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about if I wanted to build these straight across? You'd actually accept that too. Would you? Yes, you would. Well, then let's do that. Kaboom. And let's see, where is the other exit point? Where is the other train station again? There it is. Okay. Well, we do want it to move in this direction here. Then you will need to go below because of the 
highway. Alright. Oh, okay. How deep is that highway? I thought it was one level. No, it's actually deeper than that. Cool. Yeah, it is. Huh, <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we're just going to descend into the dark as fast as we possibly can here. Let's see what we can build around that. Houston, we have a transit circle. Not the prettiest one, but we actually do have a circle. So, I wonder, shall we actually start with that? Should we start with mass transit already? I mean, and I kind of said no, but... Mm, we are gridlocking. It would be nice to at least get one train going. Yeah, I'm gonna make one train. Or two trains, rather. One in each direction. That's the train system, right? Yeah. So, from the center here... Can we actually see... Which side of the station we're on? Does it matter for that matter? I don't know. Uh, no, I can't select the side. There. We have another station up here. And then up to the station in the north. It doesn't show the lines when you are in a tunnel, which is kind of annoying, but... Then you go from here to this. And from that all the way back again. And then we go the other, dire other direction, hopefully. Let's see if we can... Uh, see details. Can we... Da -da -da -da? Uh, this one's going to be the red line. Actually, make it the blue line so I can see it more clearly. Compared to the default. station doesn't have that much range. At least for the immediate happiness, but I assume it still works if you once you connect it up to other things. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's... I don't know. Let's make that white. Sure. What do you call it? Uh, central to... Uh, did I call this corner up in the... here? Something something exchange. North side. Uh, and let's see, and this goes... This is the one that goes uh, this direction, that's counterclockwise, so... CC circle. Perfect. And there goes the trains. So, at least one system is now running. It's gonna be interesting to see if anyone uses it. Probably not, because they're not already feeding the stations. And some of them are still a bit remote, but that's okay. 
I mean, I pretty much want this to be a whole, uh, a whole uh, tourism and leisure area. Don't really want to build homes there. Another little bridge we need to fix here before we build, or before we zone it out. And again, I think we're gonna go a bit low ground. Inhibitory net. Did I not? Oh! Okay. I was two devils down. <laughs> Oops. Uh. There we go. Much better. Yeah, when the road on the top side is basically a hilltop road, it's better to go below. And I do think it's better to build the footpaths on the southern side. Just so you leave the northern side for mega buildings. Like massive parks and that kind of thing. Uh, why do you have to go dark right as I'm gonna zone this out? Grr. Always. Always so annoying. Um. There you go, have some heavy commercials. Some a few fancy things, by the way, I like this. It's basically a tram road that goes in a tunnel and emerges. Uh, where is it? Here. So yeah, this is technically an intersection. I know, but it is just a tram. It's the only sort of intersection I permit. Just couldn't really squeeze in a roundabout there just for the tram. Oh yeah. This fancy area didn't have water. So, what? let's see. Power, still very much okay on that account. Heating is fine. Garbage services is actually okay. Recovered rather nicely. Healthcare, yeah, the extra hospital kind of Helps with that situation. Death care. Well, we have more dead people now, but plenty of capacity. I don't think we have a death wave. Old music for old listeners. Fire services. Oh, they haven't fixed this. Um, <laughs> the bus terminal. For whatever reason, the, uh, that always shows up in red when you look at the fire display. As if the bus terminal was some incredible fire hazard. I don't know. Could be, for all I know. I thought that was fixed. I swear I already did some patches, patch notes on that. Oh, looky there. Now suddenly people want more primary schools. I guess we'll try to oblige. We can always build a primary school over here. You're good there. Now this train station up here is pretty much the one I expect to have traffic. So let's see if it does. Actually 143 passengers. Yeah, it does have quite a lot of traffic. And half of that half of them were offloaded here. Yeah, I don't think the tram line might uh, tram line. The train line might actually have something in it. Even though we're underfunding it at the moment. Can't go overboard, right? I mean, we do want to see the roundabouts in action for the most part. And we are stockpiling a fair bit of money. Which is good. 
and we even have more demand for things. Um, right, well this one isn't connected anywhere. I might have to do that before I build too much here. demand for everything. Connecting. I mean, we already have the highway connection on the ground here. But there was this one. If I could build like a tunnel in a floating tunnel. I don't know if you've seen those designs, but I don't even know if they exist, to be honest. I know that they've been proposed locally. Where you basically have a tunnel that goes floating through the water. So you have water below, all around the whole damn thing. It's basically a tube in the middle of the whole waterway. Basically, it saves you the trouble of going all the way down into the riverbed. And saves you the trouble of going above ground, obviously. And that's kind of what we need right here. A floating tunnel. I mean, because it is going to be water all around. It's going to be fairly stable water. Since it's a massive reservoir. Would have been nice. Still a fairly high demand for commercial. waiting for here again. Oh right, they rode up here. Right, right, right. And there. So I kind of have to stretch on the other side here before I uh, zone in this area. It is fine though. Is that the tourism area? Yes, finally. A few hotels and stuffs. Uh, did that stretch all the way, or he did? And this one was finished, so, okay. No, what did I just do? Not low commercial. High density commercial. And the same thing on the other side. I might have to start building more touristy things. And parks. Oh, definitely more parks. This was a tourist area. Let's see if we can get a plaza. Mm, I want a larger plaza like this one. Yeah, that seems good. And the road is, of course, on the northern side here. Oh. Uh, yeah, plaza there. Hmm. 
Okay, a basketball court there seems fine. And a park of some sort here. Maybe in the large playground. If... Oh, dang it. It does one square too much. But I can build one up here, I suppose. Tear down a few homes. Then hope not the small park, small park. That could not fit in here. Boo! Everything is one square too big. Dang it. So I built that um, railroad one square off. Grr. But I can build a large park in here without any kind of issues. Yeah, that's gonna be what I'm gonna do. And you guys were complaining because you weren't connected to the, to the waterworks. Well, that is too bad. So I'm probably gonna do another time skip after this. I might fill in more of this area as we as I play along. We're definitely gonna build a few more on um, a few more road grids on this side, get that tram line going down here. Hopefully connect up with the tram systems here somewhere. Um I might buy the squares in the south, I'm not quite sure, depends on our financial situation. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to ro road grid up here. But at least this side of the mountain, possibly all the way on the other side so I can start digging ore. Of course, we also have the vast oil fields south of here. They're very tempting. But unlike the uh, farms and forests, these resources will expire. So I'm, that's why I'm kind of hesitant in trying to exploit them. And of course, we don't have any kind of touristy things. No landmarks, no nothing. But I don't really want to start pl pl placing down these things until... Um, until we have a proper transit system. I mean, we are getting tourists now. Maybe not as many as we'd like, but we are getting tourists. And the trains... Well, that one's completely full. Okay, so people are using the trains. Look at all them cruise ships. <laughs> Big port pileup and crashing into each other and everything. And there are all the trucks here. Right, this was supposed to be an industrial area, that's why we're allowing pollution to happen. Hmm, we might have to adjust our power budget. People are actually starting to use all that electricity we're producing. It's a pity I can't basically export power that I'm not using. It would have been nice if it automatically did that. Oh yeah, um, we did have that loan. I'm gonna repay that. to meet the balls. Restaurant Ravioli. And a pasta restaurant. Yeah, that's a lot of Italians. 
in one street. Lots of Italian restaurants. The Happy Hamster Nightclub. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, people are using <laughs> the trains. As you can see, we have quite a few lined up here. Oh my. There goes the train and it's already completely full. Okay, everybody will service there. What about the other side? Come on, next train. Maybe, just maybe I should increase the train budget. Here comes the train, it is completely full. It is again completely full. Oh, that's a lot of disappointed people. But then again, you train there and it's not completely full. No, it certainly is. And still we have tons of people waiting. Yeah. I hadn't expected the train to become this popular this quickly. Especially given how little connected it is. Still, kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to take a break here and I'll probably time skip a fair bit. I'll probably build out a bit of this area here. Quite possibly I'll fill in more of these district areas. Especially if I hit a death wave. <laughs> and I'll just start to grow the city a bit naturally. So, yeah, until the time, until we meet again, thank you for watching.